Hi, I'm Joe Puccio, Bait Rigs Tackle Company. Um, I'd like to spend a little time talking to you today about our family of jig products and how they're different from other jigs that you may be using. We're here at the Madison Fishing Expo, so our whole thing this week is, uh, weekend is to be talking about our products. So let's get started with the oddball jig. It's something that I think most people are familiar with. And uh, it's a product that solves a lot of problems with jig fishing. It's also very unique in what it does. When you look at an oddball jig, its name infers that it's unusual or odd. And when you look at it, it is in fact an odd looking jig, and it, but it's odd for a reason. Um, to start with, the oddball jig has a very unusual profile. It's sort of a concave, sort of counterbalanced head. It's not round like a ball jig. It also has a very big eye on it, which makes it really easy to tie or to add stinger hooks to. But what happens with an oddball versus just a round ball jig is that when you jig this up and down, it teeter-totters because of the counterbalanced head. So rather than just going up and down like a regular ball jig, you actually get this teeter-totter motion, which when you put bait on it, puts a kick into the tail. So it's much more of a fish attractor than just a jig that goes straight up and down. The other unusual characteristic is when you drop an oddball to the bottom, it stands up. It's a very aggressive, almost like a football jig, type stand-up head on the bottom. And you can actually teeter-totter it with your line when it's on bottom. The important characteristic here is the jig doesn't fall over on the bottom, which keeps your hook up and your bait up so when the fish comes in to take the bait, the hook is right there and available for hook sets. And this teeter-totter action and then dropping it to the bottom is a terrific one-two punch for walleyes. Now we've added a new oddball that we call the oddball fin spin. It does everything the regular oddball does, but it has a spinner on the back as an attractor. And this little, this little blade adds another dimension to the bait in terms of the, the kicking action and its ability to attract fish.